Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my 12 Empties of Christmas update. I have finally finished more products. I have finished three. So I had already finished two beforehand. I finished a Bath & Body Works lotion, and I finished my one of my hair things, because I had a lot of hair stuff in here. So I finally finished this. It is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. It is completely empty, thank God. Literally finished this like yesterday. It is the Hosk Essentials Express Blow Dry Hair Drying Spray. Nothing left. It's all gone. This one was a bastard. And this one's no shock, honestly. It is the Intimate Tropical Coconut Hibiscus Hydrating Body Spray. So I would get to the products that I replaced them with, but let me show you everything else first. So I'm finally using everything. First off, I did bring this out here to remind you that it's still in it. I did actually use some today to spray down flyaways. It's the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. The stuff that never dies. I have no idea where it is. It's completely opaque. I don't know why I had to tap on it to tell you that, but it's, it's completely opaque. I tried to pan this last year. That's why there's a couple of lines on it, but that was for me like shaking it and trying to guess, but that doesn't work. Let's see. I am now using both of these products. This is the Bath & Body Works Plum Cider Warmth Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. I started all the way up here. It was brand new. And I have gotten down to here. So that's good. I've actually done better with the body cream, which is very unusual for me. But I started all the way up here and I cannot see through this bottle. So this is one of those tapping guesses, but I think I'm right here. So I'm very happy about that. I actually, for some reason, tube body creams, I have no problem going through. It's the ones in pots that seem to take me forever. I have not used this this month. And if there is any progress, then there are literally fairies coming into my bedroom at night and eating my hair products. They already do it with my makeup products sometimes, like with my lip gloss that I'll show you in a bit. But this is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Heat Protection Cream. I never blow dry my hair in the summer, so I'm not surprised there is no progress on this. My Rue Anti-Aging Hair Serum, there is plenty of progress on. Last month it was here, and this month it's here, so in two months this will probably be gone. I don't think this does anything. This is another one of those products that I don't think it gives me necessarily stronger, brighter, more volumized hair. It's what it promises, so it'll be, it'll be good to be rid of it because I don't think it does anything. And finally, my two makeup products that were additions to when I finished my first two products. This is the YSL Touche Clot Blur Perfector. Now last month I said I wanted to work on one of the sides and I have pretty much finished the side. Like there was a teeny tiny amount of product left in it, but nothing to really make a note of. So next I will be working on this side and then I'll probably just push towards the back. This goes a lot pretty fast for being a $55 product now. I use this to fill in my pores as basically a pore filling primer. I don't use it on top of my makeup when I get like oily or whatever because it disturbs my makeup. These things always disturb makeup. So, but I actually really like it as a pore, it's like a pore filling primer. I don't, I don't think I would buy this for that. I have stuff I like better that's way cheaper. But I'm glad I found a way to use this because it is really expensive. And my sister gave it to me. She got it from Influencer and hated it. She has dry skin, I have oily skin. So I'm sure that's why there was the difference. And lastly is my little Maleficent lip gloss from MAC. I didn't make a mark, but that's because I knocked this over and I can't get a clear shot in the, when I like shine a light down into it. However, just from guesstimates, I think it is about, it is, I think it is about here now. By the way, I know my nails are different colors. I ran out of nail polish on this hand. So this is definitely on its way out. This is another thing, like I said, that I think fairies come in the night and eat it. So like I said, I have three new products. 
With the body spray, I literally replaced it with the other one that I had. This is the same one in Mango Hibiscus. I've already been using it because it was brand new. So that is where it is at now. I'm sure I will finish the rest of this before the year is out. This, I actually really like this one more than the coconut one. Like, for some reason the coconut and the hibiscus didn't quite meld together very well. But the mango melds so much better with it. I've really been enjoying this. I have not made a mark for this yet, but I actually wear this with the lip gloss, so I figured it was perfect. This is my Jordana Easy Liner for lips. I finished one of these last year, and they are not that hard to go through. So that is how much product I have. I will make a mark on a piece of paper for it. My last product, I actually debated back and forth on what to get. I was initially going to get a powder blush. But then I remembered that I got this in a limited edition birch box and it is a natural product so i've never touched it i've only had it for like two months so don't worry about that but i figure i should finish it sooner rather than later this is from all natural cosmetics it is called a rose gold highlighter but that is way too damn dark for a highlighter by the way this is full size this looks like it would come with a ton of product but i promise you it is rolled all the way up that's why I'm not afraid to finish it. But this is definitely going to have to be like a cream blush on me. Hopefully it'll work for that. It's definitely pulling more bronze in my viewfinder, but it's definitely got a pinky sheen to it in my when I look at it. So I don't think this would be, this would be hard to finish up. I'm actually really good at finishing cream blushes. So I'm sure I could finish this before the year's out. And I know I'm painting a cream blush in my 13 by Halloween. I'm painting a mini of the Josie Mare and Cheek Chile, but I'm already most of the way through it, honestly. It goes very quickly, apparently. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!